All right, so we have the drip marketing for Star Rail. They actually put their stuff out periodically. So of course we did see the previous drip markets. So we got Acheron and we know we have Adventurine. They dropped another one today. I did not see who it was today, but we that we have the two. I definitely have seen the two already. So we have Extraterrestrial Satellite Communication Acheron. And honestly, let me move out of the way here. Didn't think she was gonna be in the Hildy Lightning, much like Kafka. Now, not saying she'll be Kafka, of course, but like, I don't know. Nihility kind of has a lot of avenues where I feel like it can go a lot of different ways. Just because somebody's Nihility doesn't necessarily mean they have to be like a DOT character, you know, AKA Silver Wolf or like uh, Welt. So I'm interested to see what they're gonna do with this, but it does kind of have me, uh, you know, a little put off. I was thinking she was gonna be like, you know, maybe a little more like Arlen, like destruction lightning or, but you know, we got to spread out the paths a little bit. So, and then obviously looks amazing. And, um, was really put off by the background. Like, it's just like, wait, what, you know? And based off the first time we saw her at the game awards uh, a couple months ago, it didn't seem like she was so like, you know, mischievous and like sinister, but she got the umbrella. Like she looks like she's straight out of like some kind of like a, a, a team of assassins or something, you know? <laughs> so there's Acheron, but it mentions lone voyagers in the cosmos are driven by two desires to tread in the trials of the past and to forge their own way. But under their scrutiny, most end up adhering to the former. <laughs> a drifter claiming to be a galaxy ranger. Maybe she's a galaxy ranger. Her true name is unknown, and she walks the cosmos alone, carrying with her a long sword. Though aloof and taciturn, her blade flicks out like 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 lashing lightning, and yet she always strikes with her scabbard, scabbard, never drawing the sword free. Um, and she's also Allegra Clark, which is uh, an awesome VA. She's the English VA for like Bloodhound and Apex Legends. She is also like a whole lot of anime characters for English dub. She's also uh, Beto in Genshin Impact. So definitely going to look forward to, to, to the voice in that one if you play in English. But yeah, so she's a galaxy ranger, a, a drifter claiming to be a galaxy ranger. Her name, her true name is not known. And they, they say she has a scabbard, but I don't, I don't see anything different from the long sword. I, there's a long sword right that she always keeps sheath but she uses the scabbard and that scabbard is like a smaller like knife like a like with a a, a pretty harsh bend in it i believe then we have adventurine so adventurine came out a little bit ago as well or not came out but they dropped the drip marketing a little bit ago and oh sorry you know what that might just be like a common thing before his name or before their names but I will say they nailed his look. His look for like the gambling or like the card playing, like him being in a casino, that that's totally him. Like that is that is a Pentacony character if I've ever seen one. Like they nailed that look. Also, he's a five star and he's preservation imaginary. So that is a very interesting combo. It's, it's going to be cool to just see how many times they mix up the combos, you know? Imaginary preservation. Doesn't look like he'd be a preservation character, but, eh, you know. So we'll see how that goes. I can't even really think of, like, ideas with that. Imaginary preservation. But nonetheless, Imaginary is eating good right now. They are eating very good right now. Imaginary is like, it's we got Dr. Ratio for free. Then we get Adventurine, Preservation. Hey, if you have Welt, there's also Welt too. Don Hong, Destruction DPS. If anybody out there uses Yukong, <laughs> then you can use her as well. But yeah, we have a, a lot of a good Imaginaries out. Or at least coming out. So, yeah, Imaginary Preservation. Yeah. For Adventurine, he says, Go ahead, use me as you wish. Even stab me in the back when you see fit. Exploitation and treachery are simply tools of the trade, 
But remember, I don't make deals that don't pay off. So I hope you don't disappoint me. Doesn't make deals that don't pay off. Huh. Sounds like something that he would say based off his look. A senior manager in, in the IPC Strategic Investment Department and one of the 10 Stonehearts. So he's involved in two different factions. His cornerstone is adventuring of stratagems. He possesses an air of, ooh, frivolity and doesn't shy away from taking risks. His constant smile makes it difficult for people to discern his true feelings. Uh, he won his current position by wagering against fate itself. I wonder how that went. He views life as a high stakes, high return investment, and he plays this particular gamble with a masterful ease. Camden Sitowski. Hmm. <laughs> Mono imaginary. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was just going to say. Like, we're getting so many of them that we're going to be able to do that soon. I guess you can already do it now, but. So this guy has his hands in like a whole lot of different things. Like if you noticed IPC strategic department or investment department, he is maybe, Oh wait, was that the guy that was talking to, to Topaz at the end of the, the, the quest we had with her? I think it was right. Yeah, I think it was. That makes sense. And he's also the adventuring of stratagems. So. Yeah, he has, and he's also one of the 10 Stonehearts. So he's like literally, what, IPC, t Stonehearts, and then I guess you could say the adventure of Stratagems would be like three, really just two, but yeah, he has his hands in a lot of different things. So he's going to be one to look out for. I think he'll be honestly pretty dangerous if you ask me. I think he's not going to be somebody you want to mess with, as, as he said in, in his first sentence there. And now last but not least, I haven't seen the last person dripped. They got relic drops. Gallagher. Okay. There he is. Honestly, I was waiting for him. He has the soda in his hand. A couple sodas in his hand. I look like he's like, yeah, it's like he's either drunk or had like a bad breakup or something. No, I wanted him to be the five star. Wow. I mean, I, to be fair, in Star Rail, it doesn't really seem that much of a difference. Like, there is a difference, obviously, but, like, it doesn't feel as harsh in Star Rail. Maybe I'm coping, but I don't know. The four stars don't seem that bad. Gallagher is, yeah, fire and abundance. Ooh, fire and abundance. That's a new one. I believe, yeah, that's a new one. That's brand new. We haven't had a fire uh, healing character yet. Okay. Well, since that's his role, I guess that makes sense then. I guess I'm not too upset about it. Okay. Looks good, though. Oh, yeah. Gallagher, he looked a lot more promising in the other picture, but now he kind of looks like he's, you know, had a, had a rough night or something. But once again, Gallagher. Making a drink is a sensory skill. In dreams, creating fizzy concoctions requires adding a bit of your mood. Heavier if you're troubled. A touch sweeter if you're in high spirits. It's not just about mixing beverages. It's about the, mixing the experiences of a life. Hmm. Security officer of the Bloodhound family. Weird combination there. Interesting. I just mentioned that. Uh, security officer of the Bloodhound family at Petticoni. He's also a uh, slovenly and in indolent mis oh, mixologist. I don't say misogynist. Mixologist. Though unorganized in apparel and casual in how he makes his drinks, he's always courteous towards guests but keeps his vigilance about him. He seems to be a character with a compl complicated past, yet never actively mentions any details. Eric Bra. Huh. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. Maybe I missed it from the first picture, but I didn't think he was going to be like a mixologist. But I mean, you know, he has a look for it, but he also has a look for a lot of other things too, especially like with the, the bandaged wrist, you would think he'd be like a fighter or something, but I like it though. I like this role. I like, uh, the, the, the difference in this. We didn't, don't really have like a bartender at kind of character besides him. So I imagine maybe like we'll walk into a bar and, you know, we'll meet him there or something like that. I could see. 
But yeah, I thought he was be. Yeah, I, I agree. I thought he'd be a five star too. <laughs> no, I mean, him being a four star is actually not that bad. Considering what his role is, he's a healer, so. You know. Like, and like I said, I feel like four stars aren't really that, like, harsh in terms of, like, their. what they can do in comparison to five stars. But that's crazy, Bloodhound family. I just mentioned Bloodhound from the other voice actor. So, yeah, I got a little bartender going. Okay, it's a buff bartender. And yeah, that's, that, that's about it. So Gallagher, Adventuring, and Acheron. Those will be our 2.1 characters. Not the next patch, but the patch after that. So who are you going to be saving for? Yourself? I definitely want Acheron. Um, I just kind of have to wait and see what, they, what these guys can do because the more units we get in each path, I, I want to mention like so the paths in Star Rail, there's a pretty low amount for like each individual path, aside from like destruction and like a couple other ones. But like Harmony has like four people in it. Preservation has what? Japard, Fujuan, uh, you know, the Trailblazer. Like there's barely any preservation. You know what I mean? So like getting these paths are really important because we don't have a lot of characters in those paths yet. We have a handful of characters in the game, but the paths vary. So yeah, and, and that goes for abundance as well. Abundance is like uh, Hua Hua, you know, Natasha, you know, Bailu. Yeah, looking forward to it. I will, it's gonna be, it's gonna suck because I think Sparkle might be on the second half maybe. And then it's gonna be closer to Acheron, so. But who are you going to be wishing for? Let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, here's to Pentaconi.